A lot of people think Edge 3 saturation gives a more cinematic look, but I also want to point out some of the problems with HSV. And in some cases, standard saturation might actually be the better choice, especially when you're removing saturation, not adding it. To show what I mean, I set up a simple node tree. Here's the LEGO footage. By the way, you can download it for free from my website. Just go to blog and click on everyone is awesome sample footage. First, I will apply a color space transform. In the first node, I balance the shot a bit and bring the exposure down slightly. Then I add some contrast and for demo purposes, I push the saturation way too far. Now for comparison, in this clip I switch the color space to HSV, disable channels 1 and 3 and use the gain control to push saturation. This is sometimes referred to as subtractive saturation since it tends to look more filmic. Of course, both methods are just different ways of manipulating RGB. Let's talk about where HSV can fall apart. When you use HSV to desaturate an image, it can start to look really unnatural. Standard desaturation, on the other hand, often feels more organic. Here's the image, desaturated with a regular saturation control, and it looks solid. The HSV version, though, feels off. To understand what is going on, we can look at some test gradients. Here I'm using the rainbow gradient ramp. When we desaturate with the standard method, you can already feel that blue reads darker, yellow brighter. And once we actually desaturate, that's exactly what we see. Blue stays dark, yellow and cyan came up brighter. But when we use the HSV method to desaturate, the image, everything just turns white. Standard saturation keeps the brightness differences between hues intact. HSV flattens everything out. No matter how dark a color felt before, it all goes white once you desaturate with HSV. Red becomes white, blue too. You lose all the natural tonal balance. With regular saturation, the brightness relationships between colors are still there. That's why I usually do it like this. When I want to desaturate, I stick to standard saturation. When I want to add saturation, I tend to go with HSV. But even when adding saturation, HSV has its quirks. If I just crank the gain, the image can get really intense and harsh. What helps is pulling down the standard saturation a bit in the node before, and then adding saturation with HSV after that. That way the results look way more natural. Using HSV on its own pushes things too far. But if I lower standard saturation first and then go in with HSV, it gives a much more natural feel. Same with this test image. If I pull back saturation first, then add it back with HSV, the image just feels more balanced. That's why I added the standard saturation control in my look lab print detail that works exactly like the one in DaVinci. It lets you pull out saturation first and then slowly bring it back in using subtractive saturation. The look lab print detail also features a deep slider. When you increase the deep slider, the highlights will get excluded and less affected by the saturation. Try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments what you think about this approach. That's it, have a great day and see you next time.